Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Nest Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We're talking Wim Ban Yama and the potential of his Nike deal. Man, the fact that this is a possibility is crazy to me as a Spurs fan because we don't get attention. We don't get the sizzle player. We don't get the player with the sneaker deals, with the high sneaker deals at least. This is crazy, man. This man about make a hundred million dollars, and I love it. Because <laughs> when you really think about it, this is an indicator that the hype train for this guy is real. And I hope he lives up to the hype. I'm sure he will. I have faith he will. But it's exciting to know that we have a player with some sizzle. No longer are we going to be ignored on the national stage. No longer are we going to have to go to the cracks and crevices of trying to find Spurs games. A lot of our games are going to be televised because of the hype behind this shoe deal. Because of the hype behind this player, man. This is a big deal, man. When I saw this headline, I freaked out. Because I'm old enough to remember the hype behind LeBron James. I remember how much his shoe deal, you know, just uplifted his expectations. And don't get me wrong. Having a big shoe deal can backfire on you. It does increase the hype and it does increase the expectation for Wimbenyama. But I, like I said before, I feel like he's going to live up to the hype. And that just brings more dollars for Spurs Nation. More dollars for the San Antonio Spurs organization. More attention. More hype. And the more they hype, the more I'm hype as the fan, the more hype Spurs Nation is, and the more views I'm going to get on YouTube. You ain't lying. And don't get me wrong. It's not about the views, man. It's about the hype train. At last, we got the hype train back in San Antonio, man. It has been gone for a while. And you can make the argument that we never really have had the hype train. So it feels good, man. It feels real good. So I have to do the evil villain laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now as of this video there's no guarantee that he's going to even sign with nike now it is some rumors that he have he has some kind of preliminary deal with them through the french team i don't know how true that is but he could still in theory sign with another organization because he's going to get deals at least according to this article and i didn't know that lebron james only got 87 million from nike and it was offered 115 by reebok and turned it down that's wild i do think in retrospect that was the best decision because obviously nike is on top i wonder if Wimbenyama is going to stick with nike regardless okay i wonder if this is going to transform into his own signature shoe you know a lot could happen let me know in the comment section would you buy a Wimby shoe i know i would and i can't can't wait to do that because obviously last year I was doing all I could to promote new balances so to have a Nike shoe a signature what Nike shoe for a spur for a franchise player like Wimby I would be hyped to wear that shoe and cover it on the channel all right guys that's it for this one let me know in the comment section how you feel about this are you excited about shoe deals or you just find it lackluster let me know thanks for watching peace